Hello students. Now I will teach you that what are engines, how those engines work and what is the prime source. So what is an engine? Engine is internal combustion engine and external combustion engine. So in vehicles we use internal combustion engine. In these internal combustion engines, we have a piston and a cylinder arrangement. We have a connecting rod that is connected to the crankshaft and the crank and we have the piston. So above here are the components that is your valves, your inlet valve, then your exhaust valve. Then you have a system that is whether it will work on SI engines, whether it will work on CI engines. For working on SI engines, there has to be a spark plug that will ignite your fuel. When working on CA engines, it should have your fuel injector. Now, what is a fuel injector? A fuel injector is a device that injects the diesel fuel. That is your diesel. That is known as your HSD, high speed diesel. Then you have your SI, that is fuel is known as your octane fuel. So, the fuel that has high octane number is being used as an SI fuel. The fuel that has high diesel uh, C10 number is known as your CI fuel. Okay. Now, what is this piston? It, this piston consists of piston rings. We have the rings. These are the piston rings. Now, what is the working principle of this particular system? That is your internal combustion engines. Okay, now students, what we will focus here is we will focus what are the different components like you have the valves. Now, what are these valves? These valves consist of a cam arrangement and it has your springs. It has your cam and it has your valves. We have two types of valves. One is your inlet valve and another is your exhaust valve. Now inlet valve and exhaust valve are operating depending upon the crankshaft positioning. What is the principle? The principle is whenever the charge, the charge is the mixture of fuel plus air. When the fuel plus air enters into this combustion chamber, it accumulates in this portion that is known as your clearance volume and this is the swept volume. We have the clearance volume, we have the swept volume. Now when the combustible mixture is entered here in this particular channel, it enters from this side, accumulates here. Then what happens is there are different different types of strokes being generated. In my early video students you have seen how there are four types of strokes. That is your suction stroke, then you have compression stroke, then you have your expansion power and then you have your exhaust stroke. So these strokes you always have to remember and there are two processes that is your heat addition process and heat rejection process. The heat addition process takes at a constant volume. This takes place at a constant volume. Now students, see. What is a carburetor? A carburetor is a device that consists of the throttle. That throttle makes a stoichiometry ratio. That stoichiometry ratio should be equal to 1 so that proper amount of fuel plus air enters into this system. Okay. Now students, you have learned the basic component wise geometry of IC engines. So what is an IC engine? An IC engine is a device that utilizes the fuel as the input and converts this energy into the stroke that is your expansion or the power stroke students very important is power stroke so the power stroke generates the amount of force 
that pushes the piston in the downward direction, creating the rotating motion of the crankshaft that is further connected to the flywheel, which stores the energy. Flywheel is a device that stores the energy and dissipates the energy when we require the energy in different cycles like suction, compression, power and your exhaust. So what happens is we in the previous video I told you about the pressure volume relationship. This way the curve is being generated and your curves are being plotted. One, two, three, four. Isentropic compression process, isentropic expansion process. This is your constant volume heat addition process. This is your constant volume heat rejection process. And this is your exhaust stroke. Intake, exhaust, all you have to remember through the pressure volume relationship. In the next video, students, we will discuss the thermal efficiency of IC engines. So the thermal efficiency of IC engines depends upon certain parameters that are very important, like your adiabatic index value. Then it depends upon the compression ratio. So what is a compression ratio when the piston compresses from the bottom dead center position to the top dead center position? It compresses the mixture and when the mixture is being compressed, a lot of charge is being compressed. And what happens is the spark plug ignites the fuel and when the spark plug ignites the fuel, the power is being generated. Very power is being generated that has to be taken care of. Thank you. In the next video, we will discuss the thermal efficiency. What are the relationships for thermal efficiency and how it has been derived? We will derive the relationship of the thermal efficiency. That is very important as per the competitive point of view. These questions are generated and numericals are solved. Thank you.